Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Uh, this question here is question number 15 from the May June 2021 um, International GCSE Cambridge Paper 2 Variant 3 um, Extended Paper. This question here is about similarity. It says in the diagram AB is parallel to CD and AD and BC intersect at X. AB equals 6 centimeters, CD equals 12 centimeters, CX equals 8 centimeters, and DX equals 7 centimeters. It says complete the statement. Triangle ABX is blank to triangle DCX. Well, they are similar triangles. So similar triangles. Why are they similar? Well, we can see here that there's a few ways we could show it. This angle C and this angle B, so the angle XCD and the angle XBA are the same because they are these are parallel lines they form alternate angles they are equal to each other similarly angle BAX and angle you could say CDX are also the same as each other because for the same reason they are alternate angles and we can also see that this angle here is the same as this angle here because they're vertically opposite so any two of those would show that they are similar they didn't ask us to prove it I'm just showing you any as long as two of the angles are the same of course the third will also be the same so therefore they are similar triangles so we can just say similar which they just want the word similar without showing any proofs okay if they did ask for proofs you could show any one any two of those three to prove that they are similar by angle angle then it says work out the length of bx work out the length of bx which is this length here. i'm going to call it x and what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw another triangle that looks like this triangle okay um, but make it smaller and draw it the same way up as this triangle okay so that's what i'm going to do now okay so now i've drawn a triangle which is very close to this triangle which is the same shape as this triangle but smaller so this triangle here this is a triangle that's going to represent this triangle on top which these two triangles are similar i've drawn them the same way up so that you can see the corresponding sides so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to mark that angle here as the same as this angle the angle here as the same as that angle and the angle here is the same as that angle there. So then I can see from this triangle here which corresponds to A, B, and X. Of course, uh, B is the one with one line, and A is the one with two, two lines, and X is the one with three lines. So now I can say, all right, um, A, B is 6, so this is 6, and B, X is X, so this is X. Now I can see which sides correspond to each other very easily once I've drawn them in this way. So I can see that the X and the 8 correspond to each other. So for to, to work out the length of BX, I can simply use the similarity that I can use the ratio of the size. I can say X over 8 will give me the same ratio as 6 over 12. So therefore, X is equal to 8 times 6 over 12, which is going to be 4 centimeters. You could also work out very simply by saying, oh, the ratio of the sides is, you know, 2 to 1. That means that the smaller triangle, the length will be half. The length in the bigger triangle, you could do it like that. Okay, you could say also x is equal to, okay, what corresponds to x is 8 multiplied by smaller over bigger because we're finding the length on the smaller triangle. So it's 6 over 12, which gives us the same answer, whichever way we do it, as 4 centimeters. So the answer here, bx is 4 centimeters. Okay, then it says part C. It says the area of triangle DCX is 26 0.906 centimeters squared so that's the the dry the, the area of dcx which is the bigger one 0 0.906 centimeters squared use this value to find the angle or the try the area of triangle abx so now the area that we're looking for um of abx so the area of triangle abx is going to be equal to now we take the area that we have which is 26.906 and I know that the ratio of the lengths is 6 to 12, 6 over 12. Okay, I'm finding the area of the smaller triangle, so I'm going to put 6 over 12. Now this is the ratio of the lengths. I'm looking for the ratio of the areas, okay? This is an area. I have to multiply by the ratio of the areas and we should know that the ratio of the areas is always the square of the ratio of the lengths. The ratio of the areas is the square of the ratio of the length. So I'm looking for the area of the smaller triangle. So it's going to, the length is a half, therefore the area is going to be a quarter. It's going to be 26.906 times, this is going to be a half squared, which is a quarter. 
Okay, so we could just even put this in our calculator as it is. We can say here 26.906 multiplied by, you can even put it like this if you want to, 6 over 12 raised to the power of 2. Okay, because that's the ratio of the length, and that's going to give you 6.7265. 6.7265. I'm going to leave in this exact form because these are exact values and they're given giving it to us in this form. So I'm going to leave it in this exact form. I won't round it to, to, to 3SF because the way they gave us aren't the questions. Now for question um, part two, it says find the area of triangle ACX. Okay, so here I've got the root areas of ABX and DCX, we've got to find the area of triangle ACX. So here we don't actually have the triangle drawn. So I'm going to draw a line between A and C. And basically this is the area we have to find of this area here. ACX. Now this question looks a bit on the tough side, but actually it's only worth one mark. So there must be a quick way of doing this. And what I can see here is if I concentrate on this triangle here, ACX and also the triangle ABC, the triangle ABC. Now, if you think about it, ABC and ACX, they both have the same vertical height. That's if we consider, if we consider this is the vertex and this is the base. Okay, they both have the same vertical height. Okay, so ABX has a vertical height here, which I'm just going to call H. We don't know what it is, but it doesn't really matter. And ACX also has the same vertical height. So they have the same vertical height. And we know the area of a triangle is a half times the base times the height. So they share the same height. Okay. Now, their bases are not the same though. The base of ABX is this length from here to here. Okay. And the base of ACX is this length from there to there. Right. Now, what we know, however, is that this base, BX, we actually know its value. We found it before. Okay, we know that CX is 8 and BX is 4. So we know that this is 8 and we know that this is 4. So we know, even by the fact that there were similar triangles, even if we didn't know the lengths, we know that this base is a half of that base. So this base is twice the base of that triangle. So ABX has a base of 4 and ACX has a base of 8, but they have the same vertical height. That means the area of ACX Okay, so the area of triangle ACX must be twice the area of triangle um, ABX. So it must be 2 times 6.7265, and that will give us our answer. So you have 2 times 6.7265, and that gives us 13.453. 13.4. 5, 3 centimeters squared. That's the easiest way that I could think of, of dealing with this question. I mean, we could even find the vertical height because we know the area of this if you wanted to, but we don't need to. I could find the vertical height of this triangle by using a half times base times height equals 6.7265 and work out what the height is because I know the base is 4, so it's going to be 2 times, 2 times h equals this. Work out what the height is and then use the height and this base to work out this area, but there's really no need for me to do that because um, I know that the area of this, it has to be a half of the area of that because they share the same vertical height and the base of this is twice the base of that. Therefore, its area must be twice as much. Okay, so you can work it out in, in different ways. Okay, there's also other ways which are longer to work it out. I'm also guessing I could use this triangle here. I could use the triangle ADC and AXD because they also, if you consider from C to the base, they also share the same vertical height, which would be from the vertical height from C to this, to this line here. And we can see again that this is, of course, twice the length of that because these two triangles are similar. So therefore, this will have the half of this area. And we can see that this is exactly half of that area. So you can use also these two triangles to work out the same thing. Okay, we could also do it a different way, which is much longer, where we could use um, basically the fact that these two triangles are um, the same. Um, ACD and BCD are the same area because they have the same base, 12, and the same height. So these two areas are the same basically because 
this is 26.906 plus something and this is 26.906 plus something so both of these have the area of x and i could say that the area of this big triangle is twice the area of this small triangle why because again they share they share the same vertical height but uh, the base here is double the base of that one and you could that's a bit more complicated you have to set up an equation but i think this is by far the easiest way to do it that you've got the vertical height being the same for this triangle and this triangle the base of this triangle is twice the base of, so you've got acx has twice the, the the base but the same height and axb has the same vertical height and half the you know half the base so that that means this must be twice the area of that and there's the answer to that question i hope that was clear and um yeah i think that's the easiest way of doing it okay so there's the answer to that question that concludes question number 15 from this paper other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area over here other questions from this topic of similarity from IGCSE from in this playlist that will appear in this area and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link thank you for watching